one is the Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve x log x into dy by dx plus y equals to 2 log x solution given differential equation x log x into dy by dx plus y equals to 2 log x. Okay. Now, compare the given equation with the standard form of linear equation in y. You know that the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. Okay. To notice, we are having the quotient of dy by dx is 1, right? So, in order to write the given equation in standard form, what we'll do is, we'll just divide the whole equation with this x log x since we have to get the quotient of dy by dx to 1. Okay. Then, or you can just write directly dy by dx plus y by x log x equals to 2 log x by x log x or you can just divide x log x both sides. It's a long process if you divide on both sides and solve. x log x into dy by dx plus y by x log x equals to 2 log x by x log x. Okay? If we can do directly, you can just divide the equation, whole equation by x log x instead of doing this process. Okay? Log x gets cancelled from RHS. Now coming to LHS, you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split this into two terms. We will get x log x into dy by dx by x log x plus y by x log x. Equals to? 2 by x. Okay. Here x log x gets cancelled and you'll get dy by dx plus y by x log x equals to 2 by x, which is in standard form of linear equation this becomes dy by dx plus 1 by x log x into y equals to 2 by x, right, which is a linear equation in y form. The quotient of dy by dx is 1 plus p into y equals to q. So by comparing these two, we'll get p and q where p equals to 1 by x log x and q equals to 2 by x. So here p and q are functions or function of x, right? Now we need to find integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of linear equation y is given by e power integral p dx. Okay. Now let's find integrating factor using e power integral p dx equals to e power integral p 1 by x log x 
into dx. So now what we'll do is, we'll use substitution to evaluate the integral. Okay, we are having integral 1 by x log x into dx, right. We can evaluate this in two ways, okay. Firstly, you can write this as 1 by x by log x into dx, okay. If you put log x equals to t or let log x equals to t, then t dash will be that is derivative of t. Let t equals to log x, then derivative of t with respect to x will be equals to d by dx of log x, then d d by dx equals to derivative of log x with respect to x is 1 by x, from this we will get dt equals to 1 by x dx, okay. Now you can replace this 1 by x dx by dt and log x by t, then you will get 1 by t into, replace 1 by x into dx by dt, then you will get integral 1 by t dt, okay. We know that integral 1 by t dt is log mod t, fine. Or you can write this equation as, so you are having 1 by x log x, right? You can just write it as 1 by x into 1 by log x into dx, right? Again, you can write it as 1 by log x into 1 by x into dx, okay? It will be easy to replace 1 by x into dx by dt and this log x by t, fine. Now, another method, we know that integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x, right? Now let f of x equals to log x, then f dash of x equals to derivative of log x is 1 by x, so this is all f dash of x by f of x form, right? So, from this we'll get this equals to log mod log x. Okay? In previous method, for t equals to log x, we got this equals to log mod t, which is equals to log mod for t equals to log x. Log mod log x. Right? Fine. You can use any of these two methods to solve or to evaluate the integral. Since integral 1 by x, 1 by x log x into dx equals to log mod log x, then this becomes the power integral 1 by x log x dx is log mod log x or e power log of log x. We know that since e power log some function of x equals to function of x, then this equals to log x, function of x we can say. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. Here our integrating factor is 
log x consider this as equation 1 okay fine we know that the general solution of linear equation y that is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c right now using this formula we will find the general solution to the given equation or the equation 1 the general solution of one is why we are considering one is this equation since this equation is in standard form of linear equation in y right so we are considering one or you can just write this general solution of given equation instead of equation one y into y into integrating factor equals to integral q this is our q right q into integrating factor into dx plus c is equals to or then y log x equals to y log x equals to 2 into integral 1 by x log x dx right let t equals to log x or log x equals to t now differentiate on both sides with respect to t sorry with respect to x Then you'll get d d y dx equals to derivative of log x with respect to x is 1 by x. From this we'll get d t equals to 1 by x into differential dx. Right? Now we can replace 1 by x into dx by d t and log x by t. Okay, plus c. You can just rewrite the terms. Log x into 1 by x into dx plus c okay is equals to 2 integral replace log x by t and 1 by x dx by dt plus c is equals to 2 Integral t dt is t squared by 2 plus c. Here c gets cancelled. This equals to t squared plus c. Since t equals to log x, then you get log x whole square plus c. So we have y log x equals to y log x equals to log x whole square plus c now take this log x to rhs you'll get y equals to log x whole square plus c by log x which is equals to c you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split this into two terms log x whole square by log x plus c by log x one log x gets cancelled you'll get log x plus c into you can write c by log x as c into 1 by log x then y equals to log x plus c into log x whole inverse okay 
log x whole inverse is the reciprocal of log x. We can stop it here or we can solve like this. Okay, fine. So, this is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.